All right. Updated the office, moved back out to the living room, got sick of sitting in a cave in my bedroom. So now we have excellent lighting. We can do vlogs, we can sit here at our desk, we can make stuff. I actually took some magnetic heater vent covers for your house or your trailer, like your floor vents, and uh, made some little vlog stickers so I can stick these everywhere and not get in trouble for graffiti or vandalism. Stick them on cars as well without getting beat up. So those would be pretty cool. Gonna be putting those out everywhere. That should help. Also gonna be able to have my workspace for activities, be able to do cool stuff. So um, yeah. yeah. So me and the Gouda are tired of being cooped up in the house. So I'm going for a cruise. I noticed too, when I was doing my shifter install, the uh, short throw shifter kit on eBay. It's only about $44 shipped, I think, but it comes with everything you need except instructions. I know um, a lot of you guys are really smart and you probably figured it out on your own, but if you didn't, you kind of wouldn't figure it out on your own unless you did like me and installed it wrong a couple of times and realized by doing so that you know there was a couple of things that needed to be done to make it install properly um, i noticed right away there was a rattling noise so i took it back apart and re-examined it put it back together and in the process of putting it back together i broke one of the mounting bolts so Step number one, if you're buying the kit on eBay, is to throw the stock bolts that come with it in the garbage. They are absolutely horrible. Secondly, there is a bushing that goes on the very bottom. Your original stock shifter, there's a plastic bushing that has to be taken out. And when you take it out, there's gonna be a gap created. That bushing needs to go back onto the shifter, but on the top, in between the shifter ball and the mounting plate itself. This will then create a way for you to um, have a bushing on the top and the bottom of the ball and there will be no rubbing or uh, damage done to the shifter ball itself. silence. Oh, forgot I had a Red Bull. We're just going up Highway 24 right now, headed towards Woodland Park. We're not actually going to go all the way to Woodland Park. We're just going to go to the uh, second turnaround. And then there's a couple of spots off to the side where you can access the water that would normally feed Rainbow Falls. But we can't get to Rainbow Falls right now because they're doing construction on one of the nicest days of the spring.
time I see something like this, it makes my heart bleed. I don't know what I would do if I lost my dog. Probably put up signs everywhere like this, but still, I'd, I'd literally lose it. Always with the pee pee. Oh, fucking pants. Really? All right. This is looking a little more peaceful. Nope, there's some poop. Cool little area over there. So it was a nice little excursion away from the house just to get out, enjoy the nice weather for a change. It's been really cold and bitter up here for the last few weeks. Even though it's springtime, technically almost summer, uh, Colorado tends to have some weird weather. Don't go and Google harp because that will tell you everything you need to know about why the weather sucks. Possible stickers ever known to man. Paperback stickers. They are the garbage of humanity. You have them on your windshield maybe a day or two, and not only does the front peel off, but now you have this garbage ass papery residue stuck to your windshield that you have to literally scrape off with a razor blade. Out of a $400 action cam that's being made in who knows where, China, is it really that much to ask for a plastic back sticker? I mean, it's not like you're doing us a favor by giving us a sticker anyway, because if we put the sticker on anything, it's advertising for you guys. So instead of giving us garbage to advertise for you, how about you include some decent stickers, and then not only do you impress the customer, by including a plastic sticker, but you're providing an awesome way to advertise for your company. Just a thought. But what do I know? That's probably why I'm not in charge of GoPro. Kind of hungry. Is it hot, buddy? On a side note, if there's anyone in the Colorado Springs area that has a two-door Cherokee with any amount of lift on it, nice tires, whatever, and would like to trade for a Wrangler, obviously with a little bit of cash on top. I'm gonna to include a pick right now. Of my roommate's Wrangler that he's trying to trade because he needs the storage room for hauling band stuff to band practice and whatnot. So if you live in the Colorado Springs area and you have a two-door lifted Cherokee, at least a, probably 94 or better, with the 4.0 and a manual five-speed stick shift, no automatics, no four cylinders, must be four-wheel drive, must be lifted, and you must add some cash on top because his Jeep, I think, is total of about 10 inches of lift with the two-inch body lift, an eight-inch Skyjacker. It's got all kinds of upgrades underneath, 39-inch Super Swampers, I wanna say, aftermarket rims, soft top, soft top doors, removable lower doors. Anybody's interested, hit me up in the comments. We can meet up. Denver, Colorado Springs, or Pueblo area. Then um, we can meet up and do a trade. All right. 